In the last few years, I've seen a huge shift, almost what I call a quiet revolution in what's happening on the leadership landscape. What's emerging is a diverse range of styles and people that are coming from all different cultures and backgrounds. More and more women are joining the leadership ranks. Anyone from any culture, any background, any gender, all different kinds of people can get in touch with their inner leader and be effective. It doesn't make it easy, but it is absolutely possible. And what it takes to be successful today as a leader is fundamentally different than it was just as recently as 10 years ago. The days when only a particular kind of person someone who was charismatic, someone who had the supposed traits of a leader, whatever we call those. Today, it's actually the other end of the spectrum. This idea of the typical alpha dog as a leadership style has really started to be on the wane. There's an emergence of a new, quieter, more collaborative type leader. And I've labeled that a beta style leader. The beta style leader is someone who is not as focused on being the director, the decision maker, and driving to a result as they are creating an environment that gets the best out of everyone. In my book, I talk about the different contexts in which different leadership approaches are most effective. If you are a beta-oriented leader, you get in touch with your alpha style and vice versa. If you're a typical, more traditional alpha leader and you want to be effective in a more beta-driven environment, then you have practices to become a mixture, a blend. It's not either or. There's also an art to being a leader. It's more than just rote steps. It's actually getting in touch with your own inner essence and having that ability to work with yourself kind of as an instrument. And so what I'm really pointing to in this book is agility, right? The ability to move between different styles depending upon what the context calls for. And therefore flexibility, and therefore flex, is really sort of underpinning the book on every single level. We now have good research demonstrate what it takes in the different domains of decision-making, collaboration, engagement, communication, emotional agility, emotional intelligence. The most exciting application of my work is seeing the variety of leaders and the impact they can have on the innovation, the creativity, and the success of the organization. My deepest dream for this book is that anyone and everyone who has ever thought of themselves as possibly stepping up and being a leader in today's world, which is what we need, can be fierce.